Welcome back. When I was studying physics in high school, my teacher was able to precisely describe all these physical phenomena and explain why and how they happen. I thought our world was built on a series of understandable theories. But everything changed when I started to learn modern physics in college. Planck ushered in an era of quantum mechanics, which turned out to be one of the fundamental theories of our world. However, I remembered when I started to ask what causes wave-particle duality and where is the uncertainty of particles coming from, the controversy chimed in. I suddenly felt that quantum mechanics was groundless, thus the foundation of our world became fuzzy to me. The most commonly taught interpretation of quantum mechanics is called the Copenhagen interpretation. It proposes that our observation acts like a measurement which interacts with the quantum object, resulting in a definite state for the object. To give you an intuitive feel, let's look at the Copenhagen interpretation in terms of the famous Schrodinger's cat experiment. In this thought experiment, a cat, a flask of poison, and a radioactive source are placed in a sealed box. The emission of radiation is random according to quantum mechanics. If the radiation monitor detects radioactivity, the flask is shattered, releasing the poison, which kills the cat. According to the Copenhagen interpretation, the wave function describes the superposition of the cat being alive and dead. Before we open the box, the cat is simultaneously alive and dead, each with a 50% chance. However, as soon as we open the box and observe the cat, its superposition state collapses, forcing the cat into a definite state of either being alive or dead. This phenomenon is known as wave function collapse. The Copenhagen interpretation lacks a clear explanation for this transition. Why did the wave function collapse happen? What is the mechanism behind this process? While the theory successfully predicts outcomes, the underlying mechanisms responsible for quantum phenomena is unclear. This was just not very satisfying for me when I was a college student. Then another popular alternative, the multiverse interpretation came into my view. It was proposed by Hugh Everett in 1957. This interpretation asserts that the wave function is objectively real, but there is no wave function collapse. When an observation is made, the universe splits into multiple branches, with each branch representing a different possible outcome. In the example of Schrodinger's cat, before the box is opened, the cat exists in a superposition state, both alive and dead. When the box is opened and an observation is made, the universe branches into two parallel universes. In one universe, the observer would find the cat alive. In the other universe, the observer would find the cat dead. But why does the cat state become definite once it is observed? How does the universe split into multiple ones? In the example of Schrodinger's cat, once the box is opened, light outside the box will interact with the cat so that the observer can see it. As you know, light is also a wave which can interfere with the wave function of the cat, making its superposition weaker and weaker. This is a phenomenon known as decoherence. It causes the cat to lose its superposition and fork into multiple versions, each with a different classical state. That is why the observer will only see a definite outcome in a specific universe. The problem of the multiverse interpretation is that it does not seem to fit with our experience because we have no idea of the other versions of ourselves. And there is no link among these parallel universes, so the multiverse interpretation is not testable. There are many other explanations for quantum mechanics. They offer different perspectives on the nature of reality at the quantum level. None of them satisfy me. So until now, I feel quantum mechanics is groundless and the foundation of our world is fuzzy. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please leave comments and subscribe to this channel.